know those uh, those memes where it's like the cameraman is truly indestructible? That's what I mean by you, the cameraman. You're indestructible. And like the, in the movies, the, especially the action ones with the superheroes, and even the anime, in any like show ever, where dest like destruction is happening. The world is getting destroyed. There's like an epic boss battle going on or something. And like all this collateral damage is taking place, whether it be with planets or with just buildings on earth. <laughs> the one who was filming all of this remains undestroyed. I think there's a deeper meaning to that that nobody asked for that I'm gonna explain. Um, but I think it provides original insight into your life and into my life, into our lives. Life is a movie and you are the cameraman. You are the cameraman of life. You are truly indestructible. Literally, you're invincible. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. You're literally invincible. Well, what does that mean? Well, the principle of you are not the body. You're not the mind. By, by the mind, we mean your thoughts. You're not, you're not your personality. You're not your psyche. You're not a collection of all of these societal labels that's been put on you, <laughs> you know? It reminds me of a story I heard from the channel called Seeker to Seeker on the no self-teaching principle in Buddhism. And it goes something like this. One time at an airport, there was a reporter. Let's say the reporter was looking around for, for interesting people to ask questions. And the central question on the reporter's mind was, what do you think is the biggest problem in today's world, right? Is it world hunger? Is it racism? Is it, you know, all of these things that you can think of. And it just so happens that a Buddhist monk is at this airport as well. And so the reporter sees the Buddhist monk and goes up and asks this question to the Buddhist monk. And the monk gives the reporter a nice little smirk, a smug smile and asks, who are you? And the reporter says, well, I'm a reporter. The monk replies, no, that is your occupation. I ask you again, who are you? The reporter answers, okay, well then, I am John Doe. The monk then replies with an unsatisfied look on his face. No, 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 for that is your name. Who are you? With an exasperated sigh, the reporter answers, Okay, I guess I'm a human being then. And the monk answers, no, that is your species. Who are you? The reporter answers in annoyance. Well, it appears I don't know who I am. And the Buddhist monk replies, that right there is the central problem, the central issue behind all this world's problem. The fact that you don't know who or what you are and not just as a person on earth. We're talking about who or what you are existentially. What exactly are you? And here I am saying that you're the cameraman. If life is a movie, you're the cameraman. As those in spirituality, in spirituality would say, you're the watcher, the receiver. There are problems with saying that, but we won't get to those uh, in this video. We're just gonna explore what that means, what it means to be the cameraman of life. Let's make this interactive because I want your full attention, I want your full engagement. If you're listening to this video in the background, if you're doing anything, please stop what you're doing. If you're driving, don't watch this video. Whatever you're doing, stop, and I want you to interact with me. I want you to go through this with me. We're gonna do a little exercise to maybe potentially realize what you truly are. So, Let's take a few deep breaths. Breathe in. And out. In. Out. In. Out. In. And out. Become conscious of your bodily sensations. 
the sensations in your head, to your neck, to your torso, to your arms, to your legs and to your feet. Become conscious of the noises, the hums, the buzzes you hear around you. Become conscious, become aware of the outer touches that you feel, the outer pressures that you feel on your skin. Any emotions that arise, just become present. For the sake of the effectiveness of this exercise, we're going to make two base claims that one, the realist reality is this present moment, this direct experience. All there is, is this present moment. It's just direct experience. And two, all of your present moments, so to speak in life, all of your direct experience consists of five to six, channels of experience, so to speak. Sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch, and thinking. That is all you've experienced in your life. And that is what comprises this present moment. Interconnections of sights, sounds, feelings, etc., and thoughts. Notice how that is reality for you. That is the realest reality for you. This present moment, the realest reality, is just a complex connection of basic sensations, basic sensory information. Notice that as you become more present. All of this together, we're gonna call this the movie of your life. The movie, right, I'm Steph, so for me, and my first person that I've experienced, all these sights, sounds, and collections would be the movie of Steph. And now I want you to notice that projector, the light or the shiner, that which shines onto the movie or the play of your senses. What is it that notices the inner and outer feelings, the inner and outer sights, the inner and outer sounds? What is it that is shining onto those things? I dub it the cameraman. And it is quite literally playing the play of your inner life, of your inner and outer life. It is playing the play, projecting the light onto inner feelings and emotions and thoughts. And notice how all these sensations are always changing. Sights change, sounds change, right? But this thing that notices all of this, this camera, this frame doesn't change. This noticer does not change. It is like that principle on which all the change is emanated from. The still principle that all the change flows out from. And this watcher cannot be touched. It itself can't be felt, seen, heard. Because if it were felt, seen, or heard, then there would be a watching of that. You would just watch that. You would just observe that. There would be an observer of that. No. I want you to think of like just a movie playing on a screen. Just imagine that, right? And notice how all the pixels are always changing, right? The colors on the screen are always changing. But the over the overlay, the frame on the screen, right, does not change. It captures everything. It captures all the pixels. You can look at me, right, as I move around this camera, the frame around the camera doesn't change. The basic like square around it doesn't change. The same thing goes for you and your life and your first person perspective. There's always a constant eye that perceives all perceptions. Have you noticed this? I'm dubbing this the cameraman <laughs> to reiterate. You are the cameraman. This cameraman cannot be touched. It can't be destroyed. 
it's in, you're literally invincible. And I mean that also like a motivational sense, like, bro, if you are feeling any negative feeling, you can literally become present in that feeling and notice how you aren't that feeling. It's a passing wave that passes through you that you release, that you let go of. It's like, as some would say, you are the sky and every sensation, every feeling, sight, sound, or whatever is like a cloud that passes through that containing sky. No? Yes. <laughs> so just meditate on this meditator, so to speak. Observe the observer. Become aware of awareness. And that's that's the exercise. That's all I have to to offer right now. There's actually a lot more to say on this awareness, on this soul, let's call it the soul. There's a lot more to say. It goes deeper. It does. It goes a lot deeper than just this basic awareness. But we're going to stop there for now. And I hope you maybe had a glimpse of this state of being. And I hope you integrate this in your day to day life, becoming the aware, the observer of your experiences. Now, I'm not talking about dissociation. I'm not talking about dissociation. This is actually a flow state. This is a flow state. You know how in flow state descriptions, there's this description of a lost sense of self, or you become one with the activity, the presence, the present moment activity in what you're doing. That is what I'm talking about. The more of an observer you become, the more present you become. So do not think of this as dissociating from your experiences. No, I'm not saying that. I'm actually saying you're connecting more deeply with your experience. That is what I'm getting at here. But if you didn't have a glimpse of this, let me know in the comments and maybe we can work something out. Like maybe I can, yeah, maybe I can make some tweaks according to, you know, how I can tailor it to your experience. If you want to have this experience, you know, if you're actually curious, but that's it for now. I love you.